Hi, dear little people and big people. Today we've got a story read by Jollyon, and it's about a witch who was terribly generous and she gave so much room on her broomstick that, well, I won't tell you what happened. You can you can actually um, look at the story and see what you think yourself. So thank you so much, Jollyon. Uh-oh, Freddie's got something to say. Hang on. Yes, yes, Freddie, I'm sure. He said he thought that there would probably be room for him as well on the broomstick. I expect so. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the story. Take care. Bye. Oh, I forgot to say, Room on a Broom is published by Macmillan. I got a bit put off by, by Freddy. He's all right now. Now he thinks he can. there'll be room on the broom for him. Are you OK, Freddy? Yes, he is. OK, take care. Bye. Hello, I'm Uncle Jolyon, and I'm going to read you a story. It's called The Room on the Broom, and it's by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schaefer. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as she sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom? For a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an air-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, 
I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the dead and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the can and whew, said the dog, and thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then they filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone and the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well and while she was stirring she muttered a spell. Iggety, ziggety, zackety, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. When you've listened to the stories, please ask your parents and carers to subscribe to the channel. And Foxy agrees. So take care. See you soon. <laughs>